I'm wearing this black leather jacket because I know the weight you're carrying. I'm talking about something we all face, something that keeps us awake at night. You know what I mean. That thing called rejection. Those knows in life. Rejection. It's a word that no one wants to hear, a feeling that no one wants to experience. I want you to know you're not walking this path alone. Rejection. We've all faced it. Every single one of us, at some point, has been told no. If you're rejected, accept it. If you're unloved, let go. If they choose someone with something over you, move on. Not everyone you love will stay, and not everyone you trust will be loyal. The hardest truth you'll ever face is that people leave, but you know what? You'll still be standing. Life isn't about clinging to those who choose to walk away. It's about finding strength in yourself to keep going. If somebody is treating you like you are nothing, you must become nothing in their lives by leaving. Just leave. You have to know that your value doesn't decrease because someone else fails to see it. There is no need to explain yourself. You don't need to feel bad about it. This is your life. You need to make more space for your peace, your happiness, and mental health. There is no more room for negativity in your future. Don't live to impress people. Some people only come around you to witness you fail. The same one who celebrates all your wins will kick you to the curb as soon as you fail. People will judge you no matter what, so you might as well be honest with yourself and with them. Control your emotions. Don't let your emotions control you. You may not be able to change what happens, but you can choose how you deal with it. There is no one like you. There has never been anyone like you. There shall never be anyone like you. Therefore, know yourself, be yourself. Authenticity is everything. Rejection is a part of life. It's a chapter in everyone's story. And if you're feeling the sting of rejection right now, I want you to listen closely because what you do next will define your journey. When you're rejected, it's easy to fall into the trap of self-doubt. It's easy to question your worth, your abilities, your dreams. But let me tell you something, rejection doesn't define you. Your response to it does. You have the power to decide what rejection means to you. Is it a reason to give up or is it a reason to push harder? That rejection, it hits hard. It feels personal. But when I think of rejection, I think of people like J.K. Rowling. That name sound familiar? Maybe it does now, but once upon a time, no one knew her name. Here's one, Harry Potter. Yeah, we all know the wizard, but before that, she faced rejection over and over. She didn't get a yes on her first try or her tenth. She was rejected by 12 different publishers before anyone gave her a chance. They told her no again and again, said her book wasn't good enough. But here's the thing, she didn't stop. She didn't let their rejection define her or her work. It propelled her. It gave her the strength to fight for her dreams when no one else believed in her. And that's what I want you to hear today. Just like her, we have to stop overthinking the no's and start focusing on the yes that's waiting for us if we keep moving forward. A no is just a temporary stop. You might have to hit the brakes for a second, but after that, you hit the gas and keep moving. When you're faced with rejection, don't see it as a failure. See it as an opportunity. An opportunity to grow, to improve, to become more resilient. Rejection is not the enemy, it's the test. It's the universe asking you, how bad do you want it? Accepting rejection doesn't mean you settle. It doesn't mean you give up on your dreams. It means you acknowledge that the path you're on isn't a straight line. It's full of twists and turns, ups and downs. And sometimes, those detours are exactly what you need to find the right path. When you accept rejection, you free yourself from the chains of what could have been. 
You stop dwelling on the doors that closed and start focusing on the doors that are still open. You stop being afraid of no and start chasing yes with even more determination. Every no you yield is one step closer to the yes that matters. Every time you're rejected, you're being redirected to something better, something more suited to you. It may not feel like it now, but every rejection is shaping your story in ways you can't yet see. Rejection is a sign that you're pushing boundaries, that you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. And isn't that what growth is all about? You're not here to play it safe. You're here to live boldly, to take risks, to put yourself out there. And if that means facing rejection, so be it. So what do you do when you're rejected? You acknowledge it. You feel the disappointment, the frustration, the hurt. But then you get back up. You don't let it paralyze you. You don't let it make you bitter or afraid. You accept it and you keep moving forward. Think of rejection as a guide. It's pointing you in a different direction. Maybe it's telling you to refine your skills, to approach things differently, or to find a new path altogether. Whatever the lesson, take it. Use it. And keep moving forward. Rejection is temporary. It's a moment, a blip on the radar. But your resilience? That's lasting. Your perseverance? That's what defines you. It's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get back up. When you accept rejection, you take back your power. You stop letting other people's opinions dictate your self-worth. You stop letting closed doors limit your potential. You start seeing rejection not as a judgment of your value, but as a challenge to rise above. The world is full of people who were rejected, who were told they couldn't, who were counted out. But the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is not luck, it's persistence. It's the refusal to let rejection be the final word. Your dreams are too important to be stopped by a few no's. Your purpose is too great to be derailed by setbacks. Rejection is just a reminder that the journey isn't easy, but it's worth it. Every no is setting you up for the yes that's meant for you. So keep going. Keep applying. Keep auditioning. Keep showing up. Keep putting yourself out there. Because every time you do, you are proving to yourself that rejection isn't stronger than your determination. You're proving that nothing can stop you if you don't stop yourself. Rejection might knock you down, but it can't keep you down. Not if you get back up every single time. Not if you keep believing in yourself when no one else does. Not if you accept rejection as part of the process, not the end of the journey. You are capable of so much more than you think. And every time you're rejected, you're being given the chance to prove it. So don't shy away from rejection. Embrace it. Let it make you stronger. Let it make you wiser. Let it make you unstoppable. Because at the end of the day, it's not the rejections that define you, it's your response to them. It's your ability to keep going, to keep striving, to keep dreaming. It's your willingness to accept rejection and turn it into motivation. You're not alone in this. We all face rejection. We all feel the sting of no. But what separates those who succeed from those who don't is the ability to accept rejection and keep moving forward. It's the ability to see rejection not as a stop sign, but as a stepping stone. So if you're rejected, accept it. Learn from it. Let it guide you, but don't let it define you. Keep going. Keep fighting. Because the only way to truly fail is to give up. And you? You're not a quitter. You're a fighter. You're a dreamer. You're a doer. Rejection is just one chapter in your story. And the best part? You get to decide how the story ends. So write a story of resilience, of courage, of unrelenting determination.
Write a story where rejection is just a plot twist, not the finale. Remember, every rejection is a lesson, not a loss. It's a redirection, not a dead end. And if you keep pushing, keep striving, keep believing in yourself, you will get to where you're meant to be. Not in spite of the rejections, but because of them. So embrace the rejections. Wear them like badges of honor. They are proof that you're putting yourself out there, that you're chasing something bigger than yourself. They are proof that you are not afraid to fail, and that is something to be proud of. Let every no be a reminder of your courage. Let every closed door be a signal to find another way in. And let every rejection fuel your fire, drive your ambition, and strengthen your resolve. Because at the end of the day, rejection is not the end of your story. It's just the beginning of a new chapter. And in this chapter, you rise. In this chapter, you overcome. In this chapter, you accept rejection and you keep moving forward. Don't be afraid of rejection.